Sky Factory 5 is out and you want to be able to download and install it. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. And let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, you'll need to download the CurseForge app. You can find the link to download the CurseForge app in the description down below. And once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click the download CurseForge button to go to the official download page. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click download standalone and the CurseForge app will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. While the CurseForge app is downloading, what if you want to play Sky Factory 5 with your friends? Well, you can check out our company, Simple Game Hosting, at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ says SGH to start a Sky Factory 5 server and begin playing on it with your friends in minutes. It's super easy to get the Simple Game Hosting server up and running. And on top of that, if you were to run into any issues, there's expert live chat support there to help you out and get your server exactly how you want it. So don't struggle to host a Minecraft server and play Sky Factory 5 with your friends the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ says SGH. With the CurseForge app downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is find the file we downloaded, which in our case is going to be the downloads folder. It's this CurseForge Windows installer. Double click on it and the installer will go ahead and open up. And this can be installed just like any other program on your computer. Just click next a few times, agree to the terms of use and privacy policy, assuming you agree to them, and click next. And now it will go ahead and download and install CurseForge, basically getting it ready to install Minecraft mod packs. Once it is finished, it will close and it will open the CurseForge app. If it doesn't, you most likely have a thing on your desktop. You can double click to open the CurseForge app. When you first open it, you'll be taken through a tutorial like this. So we can go ahead and click continue. Gives you some information about how CurseForge works. And then you can log into CurseForge or continue as guest. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and select Minecraft. And when you do, you will have this standard or advanced. I recommend just clicking standard there and clicking continue. Now we can go ahead and get Sky Factory 5 installed. To do that, go ahead and search up here at the top, Sky Factory, and then 5, and it will pop up right here it is. Just click the orange install button on it and it will begin downloading and installing. You go back to the My Mod Packs tab to kind of see it in action here, downloading, and all you gotta wait is for this to finish and then play Sky Factory using CurseForge. Once Sky Factory is finished downloading, just hover over it, click play, and the Minecraft launcher will open. Now, you will have to log into the Minecraft launcher, but this is the default Minecraft launcher that you used to normally play Minecraft with. You're just launching it through CurseForge, so it's 100% safe to go ahead and log in. Once you've logged into Minecraft, playing Sky Factory 5, is selecting Minecraft on the left hand side, selecting Sky Factory 5, and clicking play and play again. Now, Minecraft will open up with the Sky Factory 5 mod pack installed. So, here we are. Sky Factory is open. Of course, I've went ahead and set up a simple game hosting server for us to go play on. And once we're in game, your friends could join this server, all of that stuff, but we'll be on a Skyblock and be good to go. And when we are in game, we instantly spawn on a Skyblock and can, uh, Go ahead and get to work. I'm in creative mode. But uh, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But enjoy Sky Factory 5. We'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.